Hello, Alana here. I'd like to talk a little bit about something very strange. It's the sexism that I have to deal with constantly, and I found a perfect example. So yesterday I was in Barnes and Noble, and I was shopping for books, and I found this. A dangerous book for boys. And um, let's see what it says on the back. It says, Re recapture Sunday afternoons and long summer days. The perfect book for every boy from eight to eight. And I thought, wow, interesting. So I opened the book and I saw things about like science, you know, um, like how to identify bugs, the, you know, insects. Um, things about different bat famous battles throughout history, including like diagrams of the battles. You know, I play chess. I'm interested in this kind of thing. I'm interested in knowing why things failed, why things succeeded, as much as I can about everything. Um, how to make a like a pocket light, all this cool stuff. And I was like, wow, this is really amazing. Latin phrases every boy should know. This is like a well-rounded educational book. I highly, highly recommend it. And then there was a companion to it. The Daring Book for Girls. Like Truth or Dare, maybe? Um, actually, a lot like Truth or Dare. And it says... For every girl with an independent spirit and a nose for trouble, here is the No Boys Allowed Guide to Adventure. Already this sounds a bit more juvenile, right? Trivial. So I open the book and there's like campfire songs like Kumbaya is in here and um, they do have the periodic table. It's not completely awful, but then there's just a lot of... Making a pegboard game, hand clap games. I mean, a lot of games. Double dutch, jump, double dutch jump rope. Uh, Okay, like even like occult type stuff, like palm reading, there's a lot of stuff like that, like kind of, like the light as a feather, stiff as a board, kind of, ooh, like it's Hontavious. Uh, those kind of like, almost witch, witchy kind of games that you play at slumber parties when you're a child, and three tricky things to look for. It does have things about how to... How to be a spy? It just seems like the girls' book, for some reason, is really dark and kind of witchy.